much for joining us. I have a, a couple of questions, I think Senator Capito does as well. Senator Markey is trying to join us, and hopefully he'll be able to. Uh, Senator Ernst is here. That's good. Um, Senator Ernst, why don't, why don't I just yield to you? If you're ready, would you like to, to be recognized now? And otherwise, we'll... Okay. All right. Welcome. I'm glad you could join us. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I really ap appreciate the opportunity today. And thank you, Mr. Goffman. Um, Mr. Goffman, in some parts of the country, Americans are paying up to $6.50, or six could be $650 a gallon pretty soon, um, but are, they're paying up to $6.50 a gallon to fill up their cars. And at this particular moment, we are seeing geopolitical crisis. Uh, I know it's exacerbated. It is vital for us to be honest about our energy policy. If we take advantage of biofuel, we have the ability to pursue an energy strategy that creates jobs and provides reliable and affordable energy to American families, energy that has grown right here in the United States. Ethanol is already blended into almost every gallon of gasoline sold in the U.S., and we have abundant supplies, coincidentally, at a lower price. So not only is it good for the environment, but it's also cheaper. Mr. Goffman, what concerns me about your nomination is some of your past statements in regards to the RFS. And specifically, you've said the RFS is, quote, not successful, end quote, uh, or a bit of a blunderbuss, another quote from you. And then another quote, uncertainty plagued mechanism for providing subsidies to the ag sector. However, President Biden has thus far been a fan of biofuels. And I'd like you to set the record straight for us um, before this committee and just in a yes or no response, whether you agree with the president's position on the important role uh, biofuels serve. So either yes or no. Uh, president Biden had stated, Biofuels reduce our reliance on foreign oil, yes or no? Emphatically, yes. Okay, thank you. And President Biden also said, you get less harm to the environment and lower greenhouse gas emissions. Yes. Homegrown biofuels have a role to play right now as we work to get prices under control to reduce the cost for families. Yes. And he also said, you simply can't get to net zero by 2050 without biofuels. Yes. And if confirmed, Mr. Goffman, I do look forward to working with you to help advance the administration's plan to address our energy prices. It's a concern to my families at home. I think it's impacting everyone across the United States and uh, supporting a robust domestic biofuel sector. And as President Biden has said, biofuels, quote, is an industry with a tremendous future, end quote. And, and I hope that you will continue to support the sentiment shared by President Joe Biden uh, on this industry. And uh, that's all I have for today. So thank you, Mr. Goffman. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Well, Senator Ernst, you made the most of your time. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, I, 